All right, so I made my first YouTuber mistake. Um, I gave you guys the intro to me going to get the, the kayak. I did a little work, I showed you um, the results of the work. But I never showed you guys the finished product. So this is <laughs> welcome to Yakking Crazy part two. This is my pack, this is my complete setup. This is, uh, this is what I'll be going out on the water with. So I'll start from the front. So as you guys saw um, yesterday, I put on the deck mat. This front area is where my GoPro angle will be coming from. I used the um, Ram ball setup. It's a 16 inch um, Ram arm up to my GoPro. And my footage is gonna be back um, towards where I'll be fishing from so hopefully I'll be able to get some good angles um, so we'll see I'll probably play around with it for a little while but this is um the big money maker right here this is what Hobie gets his name for um, this is the Mirage Drive as you can see there's fins underworks that's what will propel me that's where that's where I get my um my drive no pun intended. <laughs> but um, yeah, so that's my that's my Mirage Drive. That's what would be pushing me around the lakes. Um, as I mentioned yesterday, I I ran my wires for my gun for my fish finder here. I have a Garmin Striker for uh, fish finder. Nice size for the kayak that I'll be using. I didn't want anything too bulky to take up the space. I mean. At the end of the day, it's still a kayak, so I'm trying to utilize the best space possible. Um, now, this is the seat. This is another big ticket item. I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, I think these seats run about three, three hundred dollars by themselves. So uh, make sure you don't lose it. Um, yeah, so they got a bunch of different, you know, ways you can sit the seat up. I'm not about to mess around with it. I'll do that off camera. Um, so I'll get a hang of it. And then um, to the right and to the left of me, I have my Ram Omega Pros rod holders. This is for when I'll be trolling um, on Lake Erie or whatever other lake I'll be on. So I'll have my rods right next to me. So I'll be able to react once, once I get the bite. Um, so yeah, this is my setup for my viewpoint, my rod holders, got my Garmin Striker 4 rod holders. Um, and I'll walk you around real quick to just show you this. Even though I have that uh, pedal drive, it still comes with the paddle. So um, if you're in shallow water or different things like that, or if you just want the option of paddling, you still have it. You know, I just got it. Strapped in right there on the side with a, with a bungee cord, so it's out the way when I don't want to um, utilize it. So that's a good thing. Um, then behind me, I have my Yak Attack Black Crate. Um, it has four rod holders on it. Um, one thing I'm not going to do is take unnecessary fishing rods with me. But uh, I do got the option to take up the four. I did a little um, customization to it. So I have leashes, rod leashes on each rod holder. So I'll be able to leash down um, my fishing rods and my nets or whatever I need to leash down so I don't lose it um, in whatever situation may occur. So I still got that. I got it in the law four of them. So, hopefully I don't lose anything. Um, and this is my safety flag. Um, it was a highly recommended item for kayak fishing. It's to, obviously, it's for the sight of boats to see you on the lake. Um, you know, it's a must have, basically. Um, definitely want to keep safety first. So there you have it. This is 
this is the this is the beast so this is what I'll be this is my setup for the lake and then any other other type of fishing you know I can you know switch it up and just do some regular fishing but there you have it yakking crazy people let's go